Sometimes my hands are by my side. Then behind my back they hide. Sometimes I wiggle my fingers so. Shake them fast. Shake them slow. Sometimes my hands go clap, clap, clap. Then I rest them in my lap. Now they're as quiet as can be because it's story time. You see? Hello there. Welcome to another episode of Page Ahead Story Time with Friends. My name is Charlotte John. <clears throat> what do you think our story is going to be about today? Sleeping. Blankets. You're right. Nice work. Bedtime. Today we will be reading The Big Bed by Bunmi Laddington, illustrated by Tom Knight. Look at the cover. What clues does it give us about the story? This looks like a really fun story, doesn't it? Let's dive in. We need to talk about the big bed. I'm a reasonable person. I don't want to see anybody get their feelings hurt. Daddy, please sit down. I have no problem with you during the day. You're a wonderful wrestler. You're also very gifted at the art of horsey ride. What I'm trying to say is that you're a valued member of this team, a VIP, very important piggyback ride giver. But every night we struggle with the same question. Who does mommy belong to? Mom, me, you. When day turns to night, it's normal for people to seek comfort. No one can deny that mommy is full of cozies and smells like fresh bread. Who wouldn't want to cuddle with her? What's happening on this page? Hmm. Seeing as how there are two of us, but only one of her, we face a hard decision. Quick question. Am I mistaken? Or don't you already have a mommy? Perhaps grandma is available to sing to you three or four nights a week? I'm almost positive she'd be willing to tap your back for a few minutes. Science has proven that one of the many symptoms of bedtime is darkness. Here's a drawing. Daytime, white. Bedtime, dark. Daddy, are you scared of the dark? Because I am. 
I know you're convinced that my deep sea ocean wonder fishy light is some kind of night watchman, but you should know that it creates more shadows than it banishes. I can't sleep alone. How do you think she's feeling? Tell me about a time when you felt the same way. Delicate question. Is it the pee-pee? I looked it up online and you'll be thrilled to know that my tinkles are harmless. There are actually many benefits to waking up damp from liquid waste. One, bears. You'll repel bears during the day. Two, alarm. Ammonia smells are nature's alarm clock. Three, shower. No need to shower, you're already wet. Space is definitely an issue. I appreciate how you try to squish your body into the far lower right corner of the bed, but that's no way to live. Besides, you need a restful night's slumber to prepare for a day of text messaging and telling me no. There's the picture of Mommy, she drew me and you. Daddy, I see you. I hear you. You'll be thrilled to know that I've come up with a solution that you are sure to find not only satisfactory, but also quite generous, if I must say so myself. What do you think will happen next? Ta-da! Look at that. Every night can feel like a camping trip with a metal and canvas cot. With this almost twin-sized portable mountain bed, you'll feel like an honorary park ranger and look like one too. Look, this one is on sale. There she has paper to sale. Okay, okay, Daddy, hold on. I can already feel your resistance. You don't have to start out the night sleeping on your special nature box. We'll all cozy up together in the big bed. And once you're nice and asleep, Mommy and I will gently roll you onto your big boy bassinet. It'll be right next to ours, if you need anything. Anything at all. Except being next to us. You can't have that. In the morning, feel free to come join us again. Quietly though, okay? We're resting. How do you think the dad's feeling right now? I presented this idea to mommy earlier and she laughed and laughed, which I took 
as two thumbs up. I hope you're as excited as I am. Tell you what, tomorrow we're going to pick out some special new sheets for your awesome sleeping rectangle. Mommy and I just want you to be happy. Seeing as how there are two of us, but only one of her, we face a hard decision. What do you see happening on this page? Daddy, are you scared of the dark? Because I am. I know you're convinced that my deep sea ocean wonder fishy light is some kind of night watchman, but you should know that it creates more shadows than it banishes. I can't sleep alone. How do you think she's feeling? Tell me about a time when you felt the same way. Daddy, I see you. I hear you. You'll be thrilled to know that I've come up with a solution that you are sure to find not only satisfactory, but also quite generous, if I do say so myself. What do you think will happen next? In the morning, feel free to come join us again. Quietly though, okay? We're resting. How do you suppose the dad is feeling? Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Wasn't that a fun book? I sure liked it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the story theme as much as I did. Until next time, take care and happy reading.